is a very bad set I have created. Okay, well, that's good. I have to pee, but like, let's do this anyway. Yeah. Welcome to the late show. It's actually 5.30 p.m. Ow. Welcome back. I'm back home. You thought I was gonna stop with the Barbie videos? You thought the grind was gonna stop? No. Barbie has done many great things and I've tried to do many of her great things but failed miserably. I'm gonna try to do something else and most likely fail miserably. And I'm going to be doing a DIY, DIY lip balm. Kylie lip kit. Could it never. So, I've got all the stuff already. I'm just going to be trying to follow what she does in the video. Yes, Paw Patrol! <gasps> Is there a new Paw Patrol? Wait. Dude, they added a new member. One Direction would never. Hi everyone! Oh, she's got purple hair. Sweet. It's been a while since I've done a DIY, so today I wanted to do Make Your Own Lip Balm. Do Make Your Own Lip Balm. Yay! The base of this lip balm is beeswax. Because I like beeswax. And bees. And honey. <laughs> More on that in another vlog. Barbie's not here to save the bees, I guess. And I guess I'm not either, because I have beeswax also. I don't even know. Is beeswax, like, part of... Not even gonna try to guess what... Hey, Siri! What is beeswax? Beeswax is a natural wax produced by honey bees of the genus Apis. The wax is formed into scales by eight wax-producing glands in the abdominal segments of worker bees. No. Here's the recipe I used. One teaspoon olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. That's what we need. Two teaspoons beeswax. Two teaspoons beeswax. This was $15. Two teaspoons coconut oil. Two teaspoons coconut. Two teaspoons? I started out trying to be cheap and bought the great value coconut oil. And then it all went downhill with this. But at least a sister tried. Two teaspoons sweet almond oil. Crafty bubbles. That. Okay, first you melt the beeswax. Whether you use the stove or the microwave, make sure you ask an adult for help. <sighs> You thought, Barbie. I'm gonna do it myself. Okay, how much beeswax? One teaspoon. One Make sure you teaspoon. ask an adult for help. Teaspoon, that's not a lot. Wait. Whether you use the stove. So, that is not a teaspoon of beeswax. That's an entire bowl of beeswax. It's mine's in little pellets, which I don't know if that's wrong. Baby, if it's wrong, I don't want to be right. But that smells good. It smells like plastic. The beeswax until it's completely melted together. And then, and immediately you whisk in the olive oil and... Let's see which fork I can ruin. I, it doesn't say, how long do you put it in there, Barbie? Who knows? I'm going to put it in there for five seconds because I'm scared. That is definitely not melted. Oh, it made noise. My noise is saying It's melted. Okay, so really quick. My brain just broke. Two teaspoons of beeswax. No. It was two teaspoons. Then you stir the coconut oil in with the beeswax until it's completely melted together. Shut up! Why does that smell like butter? 
That's what it looks like. And then immediately you whisk in the olive oil and the sweet almond oil. The olive oil. I'm not stressed. This was already open. And then you're done. That's it. You can leave it plain or you can add in anything you like. Some of the ingredients that I like to play with are peppermint extract. Oh, for color, there's beet juice. Or anything. Okay, I'm gonna put a little and bit of this in there. That's a lot. It. <laughs> Ew, it's burning my eyes. I put too much in there. So you take whatever additions you choose and you whisk it in quickly while it's still melted and then you pour it into an empty tube or pot. Okay, well, I did one. Oop. I love how she makes it look so easy. She's like, you just pour this and this and stir it, and then it's gonna turn into a solid, and then you're gonna move that solid into there, but it still needs to be a liquid. And we're also gonna add something that will make your eyes burn in your throat. I'm gonna make a few other kinds with different stuff in them. I'll see you in a second to try them out. My favorite part is coming up with funny names for the flavors. So I made for my sisters, Beats Me, Be Yourself, Minty Monday. I have four different ones that I made. The smells are so bad. You would think like if you're making lip balm, it'd be like, good smell. No. So I'm gonna try to make funny names like she did, like Beats Me. <laughs> So these are the names I came up with. Get ready to laugh your face off. Just beat it. <laughs> Loco Coco. <laughs> Not too shabby. <laughs> Bees. Mint all. Like you know how British people are like, that's mental. That's what I meant. Okay, let's just try them. So I'm gonna do one on each part. <laughs> Of my lip. Okay. They're all hardened, I hope. So now I'm gonna try mental on this part. Ew, that sounded weird. It's like doo -doo -doo. it feels very um you know. Okay, this one has the honey. See, I like this one more because there's no scent. I the scents are a lot, sis. Not too shabby. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna try the cocoa powder. I don't know what happened here, honestly. I don't know if it's supposed to add brown. Kylie lip kit's really shaking. I just have chapped lips, that's it. That one, I don't know. Huh. Not worth it, don't do it. Pace. <laughs> That's a, that's a beat, Barbie. Like, she's been making beats in the stew. 